Greetings, I'm Professor K, and welcome to my course. This is Digital Forensics for Pen Testers. And as with all my courses, this is hands on learning. Not a lot of lecturing going on, but there is a lot of applied learning with labs and virtual environments. So I encourage you that if you're one of those individuals that has to have hands on learning, this course is probably for you if you're interested in digital forensics. So I've been around for a while. I've got over 20 years experience working in technology. Some of that's been doing networking infrastructure, consulting, cybersecurity, and I've had plenty of success working as a pen tester and working in digital forensics. I'm happy that you're taking the time to look at this course overview, but the important thing that you have to remember is that you have to bring the hardware and the software to be able to enjoy the course and get the most out of it. That's going to require that you have the capability hardware wise and software wise to do virtualization. The lab environment for this course is created using VirtualBox with the exception of the capture the flag exercise at the end of the course which is created using VMware. That couldn't be helped because the developer or the author of the capture the flag exercise decided to use VMware as opposed to using VirtualBox to build the image. All links for software and ISO downloads are provided in the lab files. So you're going to have to have one virtual install of CSI Linux using VirtualBox. Now CSI Linux will not work with anything other than VirtualBox. One virtual install of Kali Linux for forensics mode using VirtualBox. One virtual install of Kali Linux using VirtualBox. Now the difference between those two is one is a live CD and the other one is a full install in a virtual environment. You're also going to need one virtual install of a Windows 10 client using VirtualBox. That's going to be a target later on. And I would appreciate anybody who's considering taking the course to ensure that they can actually build the environment before they enroll. Now, as you go through the course, additional forensic tools will be needed, and those are going to have to be downloaded as well. Additional target machines as they are required, and additional forensic files and images as needed. Now, what is the curriculum? Well, let's go over that real quick. So you're right now inside of the course overview. In section two, you're going to get into building your forensic lab environment using VirtualBox. Now, in section three, we're going to be using Kali Forensics mode and autopsy. And then in section four, we're going to do some more digital forensics case management. In section five, you're going to have open source intelligence gathering. And in section six, we're going to get into computer forensics. And in Section 7, we're going to be using Shodan to search for vulnerable devices. In Section 8, we're going to take a look at network forensics using Wireshark. And in Section 9, we're going to get into some stenography. In Section 10, you're going to practice what you have learned. And do remember that additional sections and lessons will be added to this course as time goes on. The hardware that you have to bring to this course is a host machine with an operating system of Windows 7, 8, or 10, though it can be Apple or a Mac, but I'm supporting Windows 7, 8, or 10. If you're going to bring an Apple or a Linux operating system to the course as your host machine, that's fine. VirtualBox will work on either. You're also going to need a system BIOS capable of supporting virtualization. Now, for many of you, that's going to be a little confusing but you check with your hardware manufacturer and look at the specs and see if you have a CPU that is capable of supporting VT plus X virtualization. You're also going to need a good internet connection for the downloading of these ISO files, images, and other forensic files that we're going to be using throughout the course. Those individuals that come to the course with one to three years of experience, pen testing, or they have knowledge of working in cybersecurity are going to get the most out of this course. But that doesn't mean that you can't enroll and still learn something. If you have the vision, if you have the ability to grasp what I'm talking about and what I'm showing you in the course, then you will benefit from it. You have to have a good working knowledge of using Linux because Linux is the main platform that is used in pen testing and in digital forensics. 
You also have to be capable of learning in a self-paced learning environment. And as I mentioned earlier, more sections and lessons will be added over time to the course. This is a dynamic course, so the building process just keeps going on and on. You'll also have a lifetime access to the course. And so, if you're ready to enroll, then I'm here to help you get started. So again, if you're looking at enrolling into this course to learn something about digital forensics as it pertains to pen testing, this is the course for you. If you have any questions, you got any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me, and I hope to see you in the course.